Harvey Bucky, it is me Kami Luigi and I am very excited to announce that I am now the new face of the Blue Luigi Gaming YouTube page. Now, I want to make something very clear. This does not mean that I am the new Blue Luigi Gaming. I am still the Gummy Luigi that you all know and love. So, when referring to the channel, you may refer to it as the Blue Luigi Gaming channel. However, when referring to me, Gummy Luigi, I would prefer you refer to me as Gummy Luigi. I do not want to see anybody in the comments refer to me as Blue Luigi Gaming, as that is not who I am. If I do see anybody call me Blue Luigi Gaming, I will simply assume that it is a mistake. However, if you do it multiple times, I can only then assume that you are doing it to piss me off. In the event of that happening, I will notify Evil Gaming and he will take care of the rest. Now I bet you are all wondering, Gummy Luigi, how did you obtain the role as the new face of the Blue Luigi Gaming YouTube page. Well, it's quite a funny story. You see, ever since me and Gummy Mario parted ways, I've been trying to find other opportunities I could use to advance my YouTube career. As Gummy Mario inspired me to do YouTube, as I previously had a lot of respect for him. However, the amount of respect I have for him now is considerably lower than how much respect I had beforehand. There's an old saying, never meet your heroes. And I think that is a saying that many of us should continue to follow. As the heroes we worship are people just like us. And people make mistakes. It is unhealthy to put these type of people on a pedestal when they make mistakes, and then when they make mistakes, we shun them for it. When in actuality, everybody makes mistakes. Everybody has those days. It's like the Miley Cyrus song. Everybody makes mistakes. I'm not entirely sure how old this saying really is. When people say old saying, I imagine they are referring to things along the lines of the haikus of the yesteryear. But that is a conversation for another video. For now, I must continue the story I was telling two minutes before. It all started on a Sunday afternoon. I was on my way to a gay bar. If any of you are unfamiliar with me, I am a homosexual. So if you are homophobic, I respect your opinion, but I'd appreciate it if you left and never come back. Anyways, on my way there, I found a peculiar poster that was hanged up on a tree via duct tape. The poster was advertising some sort of talent agency that was looking for content creators and YouTube personalities. Now, I have a YouTube channel, Gummy Luigi 65 and I have a personality, so I thought I had a pretty good chance of acing this role. So, I headed to the location where the auditions were taking place. This location was an abandoned storage unit. I walked in and it was really dark, but it was still light enough to see the other contestants. Or should I say, it was light enough to see one other contestant. He wore an orange and black cap with the words cool written on the top via Sharpie. He started talking to me, which made me very uncomfortable, cause his voice sounded questionably racist. Finally, the audition started, and he was immediately kicked out. I was the only one left. The talent agent seemed very impressed with me, despite the fact that I had not started my performance yet. He said to me, Amazing, you look just like him, except your skin is green. You're hired. Now, I had no idea what he was talking about. And I quite often do not like it when people point out the color of my skin. It happens quite often, especially when I go out on dates. Whenever I go out on dates, it's usually the first thing that is mentioned. Yes, I am green. Yes, I am a gummy guy. Can we please move on and talk about something else? There really isn't much to talk about with me having green gummy skin. 
yes, I understand it is quite interesting and peculiar, but there's not much conversation that could possibly be had about it in my experience. It's always the same questions. Were you born like that? Were your parents green and gummy? Stuff like that, that I don't really like answering. Again, I understand the curiosity, but at the same time, it pisses me off. Especially when I am trying to score. Anyways, I got the job. I was introduced to who Blue Luigi Gaming was, and I must say, I am not a fan of this guy. He seems very rude, and he reminds me a lot of Gummy Mario. In fact, I am willing to say that this guy is even worse than Gummy Mario. At least with Gummy Mario, he had something going on with him. He had sort of a gimmick. He had kind of a funny voice, and he had the whole anti piracy screen thing going on for him. Blue Luigi Gaming, on the other hand, doesn't really have a gimmick, his voice isn't particularly funny or interesting, and none of his videos have any consistency or depth. Gummy Mario had a point. Blue Luigi Gaming, on the other hand, I don't really know what he's trying to do. Most of his videos feel like there isn't even a joke. One of his videos advertised him eating a watermelon, which I must say was a very interesting video title and thumbnail. I was quite excited to sink my teeth into this video, just as I was assuming that he would sink his teeth into the watermelon. However, upon watching the video, it is just 10 minutes of Gary's mod footage, with no watermelon in sight. Again, I have to ask what the point of the video was. What was the thought process behind it? I can never quite understand with Blue Luigi Gaming. Fortunately, I was told not to replicate Blue Luigi Gaming style, but instead to do my own thing. Evil Gaming basically told me to do anything that Blue Luigi would not do. I must say, Evil Gaming has been a very approachable manager thus far during our partnership. I was a little bit iffy initially on the contract, as there were a few things that raised my eyebrow a little bit. For example, this was a lifetime contract, meaning at no point could I ever sign out of it. It also exclaimed, in blood red calligraphy, that my very soul would also be tied to the contract. Now, too many, that could be a deal breaker. However, the contract had a lot of flexibility in terms of what type of content I would get to create. It did not at all feel limiting and that is a problem with most contracts and networks. So I think it was worth selling my soul into a contract that I have no way of getting out of. So here I am, Gummy Luigi, new owner of the Blue Luigi Gaming YouTube page. I will be presenting my own brand of content, which will be quite different from the usual content that Blue Luigi puts out. But, to be fair, his content, in my personal opinion, wasn't very good. Now, if you thought his content was good, I respect your opinion. But, I also think that is a very stupid way of thinking. Not that I am saying that you are stupid, I am just saying your way of thinking is flawed, and you should consider psychiatric therapy. Anyways, I have a lot of great videos in production as we speak. I am currently working on my Disney Pixar's Cars review, where I will be reviewing Disney Pixar's Cars, Disney Pixar's Cars 2, Disney Pixar's Cars 3, and of course, the Disney Channel spin-off series of shorts, Cars Mater's Tall Tales, which I have a few choice words about that spin-off. Let's just say those previously mentioned tall tales are a bit too tall for my liking. Thank you all for watching my video, and I hope you all look forward to the future of the new Blue Luigi Gaming. And I would like to thank Evil Gaming for this wonderful opportunity. Now, I am going to end the video, but one problem I have with people ending videos is that it's not very immersive. Most people just end the video, and that's that, which is very unsatisfying. Whenever I watch videos, I want to be satisfied. There have been many videos I watched where I am satisfied through a majority of it, but the end completely ruins it by just ending. 
The end cards are not satisfying at all. I need something a lot more immersive. So for this video, and the rest of every single video that I am going to do, I am going to end the video by getting up and leaving the room, to make it more immersive and realistic to the video. That way, the ending is a lot more conclusive and satisfying to you, the audience. So. Thank you all for watching this Blue Luigi gaming video created and produced by Gummy Luigi. It still can be considered a Blue Luigi gaming video despite it being created by me.